Friend rising me and Morris. So it's another day, huh? I figured we should get a reading in. Let's see what's good, what's popping, and what's going on. Alright, we're gonna do this and we're gonna do it well. Yeah, feel me? Okay. Alright, maybe it maybe I'm capping just a little bit. But let's see what's going on. And then at the end of this, I'm gonna have a full reading the whole video on my YouTube. Just follow the link. Yeah. So as I said, we're about to get a reading and I'm about to see what's good, what's popping, and what's going on in the ethos. Alright. So first things first, you already know that we are highly favored and protected, man. No weapon form shall prosper. But you already know some people hard head make for a soft behind. We're gonna give all the glory to the big guy upstairs. Alright, so we'll leave that right there. But in the meantime, as I said, without further ado, can we just get straight to the cards? Can we just see what's good? Can we just see what's going on? Right? I don't know if I'm gonna chop this one up. I think this is just gonna rock how it is. Or maybe I'll, I'll figure this out. You feel me? Let's play around with the edits. All right, let's go. All right, so, Moonology, Shuffle, Split, ready to go. Did we hit the button over here? We hit the button over there. Let's see what's good. It's a little warm in this kitchen. Let's see what's going on. You feel me? You know my big brother Nip's birthday is coming up, you feel me? You feel me, show love, show love. You know what? We're gonna have a tarot extravaganza. We're gonna have a tarot extravaganza. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I should really just be on live doing this so, you know, y'all can just hear me talking instead of speaking freely as if. Screw it. You're gonna watch me channel. That's cool, right? Bottom of the deck, expect powerful change. What's this eclipse? New moon eclipse. Okay, let's bring in the new. That's what I'm talking about. And we're getting a powerful change on top of it. I know you noticed how this card prominently landed in the challenge position, right? I, I definitely peeped that, but I was trying to remain calm, cool, collect. You feel me? I can't be startled by everything that I see. So let's see what's going on. North Node, step out of your comfort zone. What? I thought we did that already. I thought we were here. OMG, what's this? Full moon and Taurus. My dreams need a practical plan. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. All right. So let's get moving. Let's see what's good and going on in the ethos. Bottom of the deck, influence in the read is ooh, the world. A new chapter is beginning. Now, I was on TikTok last night, and I definitely said that you feel me. Every seven years, you feel me, we close out a cycle. You feel me, and we start a new one, a new chapter. You feel me? Every seven years, you feel me. So I'm closing out a cycle. And I'm about to begin a brand new chapter. You feel me? This is too much for me. This is too much for me. But let's just get to it. You already know the world is the closing. Closing of a cycle, yes. But with success. All right, we did our due diligence. We learned everything necessary. We applied the lesson to other situations. to prove that we need to get up out of here. And now we're making our grand escape. And that's what I'm talking about. Praise to the most high on that one. You feel me? He's the one who put it together for me to make sure that I pass the exams. But still, come on, bro. Let's see what's good. So, Ace of Swords. Most High's like, yeah, we're going to double down on that. That's the truth. You heard me? That's what's up. I like that. Okay? We're talking nice. All right. Okay. So, so far, so far good. King of Cups. The King of Emotions. Right? As you can see, his throne is out at sea. Okay? And when it comes to this guy, whether romantic or platonic, he's going to be expressing himself, though. A good guy. All right, a bit over the top at times, can be, but a very loving, righteous energy. Okay, homie. Somebody might have their eye on a prize or something like that. I don't know. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Somebody sees something they like. Somebody sees the happiest card in the deck. Not my happiest card, but it's the happiest card to normal people's deck. You feel me? All right. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. Somebody wants to take charge. Somebody has a little bit of soulmate recognition in the same things, clearly. All right, we've seen that Ace of Swords coming through. Their emotions are definitely taking over. At least they're doing some sort of talking, which is wonderful. You know, the two of cups, a pea and a pod. All right, something that's nice. Something that you understand without thinking twice. Something that's very familiar. So far, homie's talking real proper. You feel me? He coming real correct. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Are you straight or crooked or is that me? All right, we're, we're going to rock out. We're just going to rock out. We got here. All right, so somebody sitting back and thinking about things, it seems. All right, four cups over there, a little bit of meditative. But honestly, if I was, we're looking at them, it looks like they're giving the pouty face. Mm, not so, not, 
not so bueno all right now maybe they're just meditating all right but it really feels as if they're sifting through their emotions and they're not really feeling too hot with the turn of events but we're just gonna put that back down okay over here we have the ace of pentacles a gift coming from the helping hand of the most high all right now pentacles all right could be people time all right but then also material things anything of value that's why i say people and time because you feel me those are the two most valuable assets that we sometimes don't even get back okay you technically can't have ownership of a person you know where i'm going with that all right just don't judge my life let's let's proceed let's proceed okay no debbie downers no debbie downers not on a monday at least you do that on tuesday but not on monday let's go all right so somebody's sitting back they're meditating they're seeing things differently all right wanting to take action towards the queen of emotion towards somebody who holds the cup to their heart now the king and queen though they are two peas for the pod they're very different as you can see she's not consumed in the ocean she's very much on land grounded all right she's not going to give that sacred cup of love to just anyone all right as i just said sacred so she knows that there's a, a particular suitor for her that's deserving of that particular cup of love but she is the sweetheart of the deck so i don't think she's gonna treat you any type of way you're right she's gonna show you love she's gonna be caring sweet compact you know what we're not gassing them up all right possibly because she's a divine feminine so hmm. This is a nice way to wake up i'm not gonna lie all right waking up to the mother of tarot the queen of all queens all right that's what i'm talking about okay divine feminine energy i'm liking the vibes let's keep moving let's keep moving six of swords all right looks like somebody may doing be doing a little bit of digging a little bit of research figuring things out trying to figure out what are you really up to why because we may want to move in that direction possibly you know see what's really good and what's really going on taking a leap of faith okay as we've seen with the world we just closed out a cycle so it looks like somebody wants to begin a new cycle with queen of cups it seems now there's also a possibility that we have a king of cups who's matching the queen of cups and you feel me like attracts like and then we also have a king of wands who may be another energy honestly if we look at it like this hold on because this would make more sense the king of wands being frustrated and mad because he's clearly making a bad decision while we have somebody who's slowly moving towards the queen of cups mm. so this could go one of two ways this is getting real messy where's my coffee oh my god you know what we're just gonna keep running it let's just keep running it all right let's go okay tell that novella episode two season 14 let's go should be the other way around but you're judging my life don't do that not the type of community that we are all right we just get jiggy with it no all right whatever don't judge my life bro don't judge my life and if you do i don't care page of pentacles on the table now all right i want to say tarot reader don't know why but i definitely want to say that and i'm also seeing the tarot reading card tarot reader card from the karmic tales three deck in my head right a message pages are the messengers of the deck yeah yeah all right okay pentacles pentacles are material things of value things that are slow but they're worth something in the long run not always something you can see here in the 3d okay everything happens in the 5d before it's prominent here all right all right so somebody wants to send a message all right we got queen of wands mm, matching are we some news something exciting maybe somebody would like to do a little bit of exploration with that page of wands i don't know let's keep moving i don't know what that was i think it was the ace of wands ace of wands all right so yeah they want to give an offer so that they can have a passion in the beginning they're taking time to think about things they, they're looking sick doubling down with the fours but as you can see with their four swords they're fully healed up all right now they're just taking that time to relax and rest it looks like they're sifting through their emotions trying to figure out what's really going on but you also know the moon also hides things nine of pentacles queen of wands seven of wands so queen of wands 
is a powerhouse. Mm -hmm. She is very much at some sort of advantage in whatever she may do or pursue her mind to. Okay, looks like she's sort of fast, some sort of innovator. I want to say eight eight of wands, so she gets to the job done. Maybe she works with some sort of communication or whatever that is. But nonetheless, nine of pentacles, very much independent, confident, successful in her own lane, doing her own things, and nobody could touch her. You feel me? Because honestly, the problem people have with life, I literally just learned this was. All right, there's a, there's a there's a difference between motion and progress, right? So we could be standing here and it looks like we're making progress, but in actuality, we're just hitting the motions, you feel me? So on camera, you can't really tell what's going on. But with progress, I'm the only person who knows the truth and what's going on because I have the goal set. I'm in my own lane, you feel me? Can't look at your paper, can't go over there, I'm gonna get ran over. You come over here, you definitely getting ran over, bro. You feel me? And that's just what it is. God gave you a lane, God gave me a lane. Now let's just maintain our lanes. Now, the finish line is different for everybody as well. All right, we all have different goals, different things to get done, different things to accomplish, not to mention this matrix that we have to hop out of and we have to realize it's a freaking matrix. You feel me? So we, we got a lot of pressure going on. Nonetheless, Shorty's a powerhouse. All right, she knows what it is. She's very confident. She's very strong. She's very loving. And she embodies every single queen within the deck. I ain't letting you go. No, let's go. All right, no, 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 not going nowhere. We can go to lunch. You hungry? Let me feed you. Shoot, I'm just saying. Let's talk about this. <laughs> Nine of Wands, we got the Wounded Warrior on the table, landing on the Four of Cups. So they're thinking about stepping up and fighting for this. They're thinking about hopping on the battlefield. Now the King and Queen of Wands are masters on that battlefield. So you feel me, that ain't about a B. You feel me, we can get that done. You feel me, at the end of the day, the Temperance Angel, though it's Sagittarius, reconciliation, peace and harmony, finding a bit of peace through all this madness alchemy sifting through the nonsense getting down and dirty not necessarily dirty but cleaning this up you feel me we don't want the dirt we don't want the dirt but nonetheless bringing a sense of harmony tranquility and peace to all of this commotion mm. 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 okay all right i'm digging it all right we got the lovers and the Wheel of Fortune. Interesting, my dear. Interesting. Bottom of the deck. We have an Ace of Cups. What? A new beginning coming from the helping hand of the Most High, the Dove. There's no Dove, it's a heart. But it should be a Dove, a communion, and it overfloweth. You feel me? We're talking nice. We're talking nice. A new beginning, a new relationship, some sort of love. We're talking nice. We're talking too nice. This is too much for me too early. Let's go. Lovers. We see the Two of Cups. We see the significance in these guys. We see the energy. We see the that like attracts like. That's nice. Oh, what goes around comes around. Something coming back around. Somebody want this to spend in their favor, possibly. Oh, but shh, don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. All right. So, mm, I'm not gonna say this is a bit of timid energy, but why are we not telling anybody? Hmm? Why are we not telling anybody? Because you're manifesting? I get that. Let's make sure. Why are we not telling anybody? Hmm. Hmm. I'm hungry. Is it too early for a salad? The Hierophant. Are these two in cahoots in the 5D? We're going to lay that. We're going to let it rock. Let it pop out on its own. Whew, it's getting hot in this kitchen. It's getting hot in this kitchen. All right, let's talk. Somebody's walked away from this situation towards a brand new beginning. Somebody else is watching, wanting to come in, wanting to make amends, we can say. Okay. Towers are definitely, you know, coming, crashing. Things that are in the tower are being revealed. Um, it, it could be a bit of chaos right now, especially with all the sifting through the emotions. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, but somebody's definitely gained their perspective. Okay? And I do see the three wands here, and he seems to be waiting. Hmm. This is interesting. What are you waiting for, bud? The queen of pentacles. For her to give. So she's not giving to this energy. She's not paying attention to the... Ooh. Maybe she's a Capricorn? Oh, 
Okay, uh, uh, okay. So, they, somebody's in a lower vibrational state and this beautiful energy decided to put her sword up because she couldn't sift between the BS. So what do you do? You close it out, you get rid of it, and you take it to where it belongs, the dump, all right? So what she did was she put some very firm boundaries up and she stopped giving to the situation. And with that, this energy is kind of going crazy, right? With the close of that cycle. Now, the reason why I'm going to emphasize the close of this cycle is because with this cycle closing at the beginning, I said something about seven years, you know, feel me? And how this resonates with me. So with the close of this particular cycle, means that the doorway opens for a brand new soulmate well maybe not brand new but brand new in this lifetime or maybe not even i don't know but a doorway is open and there begin becomes a path just like when we're traveling when we're doing whatever we're doing most i could just our higher self and your lower self so you have soulmates do you want to continue this path with this particular soulmate we went through this for about seven years for or we can drop this right here understand the lessons show appreciation for one another and disperse and move in another direction towards another soulmate where you guys have an opportunity to get to know each other not go through the past not relive any of it not trauma bond because you're a new energy with the seven years it's a full brand new cycle right so we learned all our lessons we've applied everything and it's time for us to graduate right if we think about it high school preschool any school except for college you don't usually go back maybe you have like a camp or something or you'll be coaching or something but when it comes to you taking third grade arithmetic you're not going to take it again you know what i mean so it's kind of like that so we're closing out this cycle and if i'm not mistaken this masculine energy may also be recognizing and realizing this cycle is done Ooh, we got real we got real is there anything else when we wrap this up anything okay eight of swords very much nervous very much in their head okay but it does look like they would like to come forward with some genuine light-hearted energy is it an apology it's possible it's a pages energy so we must be real could just be a message but it's genuine and it's a potential start of something new if you would like this particular soulmate king of swords Looks like you guys are swords up to each other you're not really in cahoots you're not really speaking so whatever you choose just leave it in the hands of the most high what's meant to be will be but understand that if you are you know in your same timeline as me we're beginning a new cycle it seems that we're an empress energy we're finally birthing everything that we wanted it's a new chapter it's a new beginning we're new beings and if it wasn't for God, we wouldn't be here. So, let's leave this right here. Praise to the Most High for a dope breed. Praise to the Most High for letting us know that we've graduated, we've excelled, we've succeeded. You feel me? And we are moving beyond, you know, whatever we were doing about these past seven years. All right? So, shout out to you. Shout out to me. Shout out to we. We're doing it. And remember, we are highly favored and protected. So, keep it godly and keep it rowdy. All right? I love you all unconditionally.